Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're checking out a funky type of game called How Do You Do It? Which is a game done up by Nina Freeman, Emmett Butler, and Joni K Kitaka, along with uh, music from Deki Koss. And this is a game about a girl who... I was trying to figure out how sex works with dolls uh, while her mom is off at the store. And it was done during the Global Game Jam of 2014. And from what I understand, it's like this open-ended question of kids finding their own identities in both gender and growing up and stuff like that. That's probably not the exact theme of it, but it's I, I'm not super familiar with the uh, Global Game Jam website, so it's kind of hard for me to find out exactly what it is. But we're going to play this today, and um, we're going to mush these characters together and talk about the game. So here's our little lady friend Jenny. Her mom has gone off to work, and we're making sure the coast is clear. And over here, oh, we've got our, our, our dolls, uh, Lucy... Pink top and Ken, and what well, we've made them naked, and we're gonna mush them together, because that's that's what adults do. And we're constantly wondering if uh, our mom is coming back, and I can mush them together in weird angles. Yes. I think she calls them Rose and Jack. Oh, yes, I'm I'm joined by my friends Taria and Son of Anubis. Hello. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about this and the sort of ropes about it, so when we're talking about a game jam, you know, it's kind of whatever fits in, in a very small span of time. Three days. Yes. So, you know, it's kind of... Sometimes there's not a lot to read into the game. They just pick a very simple concept and kind of make something that fits it. But, you know, I... I feel like this is always the sort of thing that every kid kind of was aware of growing up. This is a very popular trope in television and movies. And uh, I did sex, I did the uh, alleged sex 57 times and uh, didn't get caught. So we'll do that again. And I gotta say, this is actually some pretty, pretty legit graphics. I've seen a lot of people just posterize some pictures of houses that they went outside and took for their graphics. They did a good job on that. And they, they kind of- I do have to- No, oh, go God. for it. I was gonna say, I do have to kind of like, on the fact that when you put them close together and just move the dolls in the, the, the directional area, like the circle area, you can actually get them to glitch each other out and have sex constantly. It's a pretty easy way to get like 100, 200. Oh yeah, oh that's good Clearly stuff. Clearly the girl is just a budding magician and she hasn't quite <laughs> understood her powers. Right. Oh uh, yeah, she's not even touching the dolls anymore. I got 293 but I got caught. Look, look at that. But, so this is the situation of a kid who's, if you look at her thought bubbles, She's talking about trying to understand sex from what she's seen in movies, you know, like when they hump in the car in Titanic and, you know, it gets all Mom steamy and, Dad, okay. and cloud related and fondly and. The infamous wow, laying down hug. My arms just flew off. Yeah, so it's like trying to understand it from what you see without a good proper explanation makes it very difficult. I think everyone's been to that point where they're trying to figure that out as a kid, and, you know, try to suss out the whole thing. And that's usually around the age when parents kind of look at it and say, you know, maybe it's time for either us to talk about sex or for um, schools to talk about sex ed, which, when I was in school, we actually did that in elementary school. Yeah, in mine, we, we talked to, it was like that hygiene class, and you did it in, like, the end of elementary school for whatever reason. And then we had another yeah, more in-depth... Well, another more in-depth one in uh, high school health class, and also in personal living. Which... Oh, I just did magician trick. Funny enough, like... Going to high school in a very conservative area, like, people were not super happy that someone was like, Oh, I got him stuck in the open. I got her in trouble. Do the thing. <laughs> All right, well, here comes the mom. Oh, oh my God! You made a huge, out. you made a huge mess. Eep, mom saw. <laughs> you know, I'm actually kind of 
kind of call bullshit on that because like would you even know like my cousins that had barbies none of those boys had clothes none of them and they were like five like none of those dolls retained to... any clothing whatsoever but i guess if you I were babies, that was the same way I guess if you were mushing their crotches together like I'm doing right now on screen, though, that might be a little bit suspicious. Yeah, so True, like, but... I mean, if she, if you could hear her walking through the door, I don't think a kid's gonna sit there and keep mushing them together. I think they're gonna be like, oh, mom's walking through the door, drop the dolls. I don't know, man, you get pretty into it. Then again, I don't know anybody who had their toys out in the living room like this, either. Like, parents usually wanted to keep that crap under wraps in, like, another room. Well, I mean, there's definitely some sort of underlying story considering the death stare her mom gives a little kid before she leaves. I think it might. Yeah, it's like it, she knows it's happening. It could be a response to like people's political thoughts on kids and sex ed, and the fact that a lot of parents either don't want to have the conversation or they're not comfortable giving the conversation, and then the kid wants the information. And I'll I'll give people a. Uh, a, a helpful bit of information that they should probably give a lot of politicians that are about all about abstinence. Kids with hormones want to fuck each other. That's all that there is to it. So, I have a great explanation of that. Yes, why don't you go? But yeah, that's the thing to note about kids. Make peace with it now. You will have a much more uh, understanding relationship if you have children and they get to teenage years. Another, another thing that caught my attention was, uh, I agree with Taria, the toys wouldn't be out on the floor, they'd be in a special room. But also, I think another thing they were looking at was parents leaving kids alone at that young of an age. I mean, 11 years old doesn't seem young, but I still know people that babysit their kids at 11. And, I mean, defense on the part, I have kids, so I would be definitely having a babysitter there at 11 years old. I don't she know. Was only my gone parents. For a few minutes. Granted, game, but like you might be gone for like an hour in real life. My parents were leaving me alone in the house during the day at like nine. But then again, it it depends on the maturity of the child. And the neighborhood because not the same. You can't even walk down the fucking street as a ten year old without getting attacked by somebody. Anymore. So let's talk about this game. It's got good art. Got some good music in the background. And despite the weirdness of the concept, it makes for a very good, thought-provoking conversation piece, which is why I chose to do it, and it appeared on Reddit, and kind of brought it to my attention, so... What can I say? It's an easy topic to cover, and I like game jams, especially the global game jam. And my buddies over at Two Scoops Games just did a uh, round for this year, 2015. So I think it's interesting to talk about. This game is also available on Steam. And as I'm sure you would be aware of, um, it's got some fantastic Steam comments, which is the best when you have a game like this from a game jam for free. Um, oh, wow, I found I that trick you were doing, Aria. But anyway, before I let you finish that thought, son, um, okay. I'm going to read some of these comments. First comment by Egg Dodger. Girls told me I don't know anything about their bodies because I'm a boy. Now I'll show them. I'll show them all. And then after that, you've got from Anomaly Zero. Pros, magic sex hands. Great for a laugh when you're drunk or depressed or both. Totally not creepy. Cons, no leaderboard. And no kill streaks. And then underneath that was Yumi's, which is Brazer Simulator 2015. And yes, I'm going to put a Brazer's logo. Brazers. Really? And that was Brazers. Oh. All I want to say is, if you only have three days to make a game, and for them to barely have any hiccups at all in this game, like, I noticed a few, and I got to them pretty quickly, but for them to barely have any besides the dolls, that's... I gotta say, it's pretty good. I mean, she doesn't have any issues with the eyes or when she's talking or anything like that. Seems like her hands work pretty well. It's the dolls, which, I mean, again, is not an easy thing to fix up in three days. Even then, like... They did a nice job with this game. I've always been impressed yeah. with the stuff that indies do in even just 24 hours, you know? Like, uh... That guy who made the Neeklid stuff. You know who you are on Twitter. Your name is like a series of crazy numbers and stuff. Love his stuff. 
Um, Rogue Noodle's a guy whose interview I still need to edit and put up now that I've recovered it from the hard drive that died. Um, they make some amazing stuff in just, like, 72 hours, 24 hours. It's dang impressive. So anyway, thanks for joining us, everybody, for How Do You Do It? I don't even, with this girl relating to people humping in the Titanic movie, mushing Rose and Billy together, do the thing. Mush those crotches, do the th How does this work? It's the weirdest hug ever. Do you hug with your legs? No, Bubba, Bubba, before you end it, put them together and spin one over so they get opposite directions. Oh, I've, hands out like I already did that. I got it so that they were <laughs> hovering back and forth with the voodoo Blair Witch thing. It was good. And at some point, I've edited in the Brazers logo swooping in for no reason. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Check these ga this game out. You can play it in the browser, or you can play it through Steam. It's free regardless. And, uh, catch you next time. Have a good one, everybody.